Six string supplies. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick video just to show you um, a really easy nifty trick on how to balance uh, circuits where you have uh, where you're trying to mix both humbuckers and single coils. Uh, obviously, there's that old age question of what pots do I use? If you're using single coils, generally you'd use 250k, and if you're using humbuckers, generally you'd use 500k. Um, and it, you know, it, it's actually a really simple way of balancing things. Um, so in front of me here, you'll see I've got four circuits. These are all extremely standard and we've done videos on how to wire each of these. So what I've got here, top left is HS Telecaster. So that basically means we've got a humbucker and a single coil, but the humbucker is in the neck position. Next switch, it's exactly the same. No difference whatsoever, except we're going to be having single coil in the neck and humbucker in the bridge. Bottom left here, we've got HSS strap wiring. Now this is... Um, We've done a video last year on HSS strat wiring, but that was the super strat with um, the, the the four pole switch, which is a lot more complicated. This is actually just a standard Stratocaster wiring setup. Um, I'll go through that one in a bit more detail in a sec. And next to it, this is wired um, identically, but it's gonna be HSH. So we're gonna have a humbucker in the neck, single coil in the middle and humbucker in the bridge. I'll come on to those in a, in a sec. Um, what I'll do is I'll start off first with the, the Telecaster circuits and then we'll move on to the, the strats. These two circuits on the screen, HS Tele and SH Tele, they are both wired exactly the same. Uh, they are wired as per a standard Telecaster wiring diagram. Um, Three-way classic wiring, nothing fancy in there. The only difference between this these two kits and uh, typical wiring is that they're both using 500k pots in both the volume and the tone. Obviously, with, with a classical Telecaster, you'd be using 250k. Now, the reason why we're using 500 is obviously because both circuits have uh, a humbucker in. So it generally gives you, um, opens up the humbucker a little bit more. Um, and what we're going to be doing now is by using a 470k resistor, uh, 500, whatever resistor really, it, you want to get it as ideally 500, but 470 works just as, just as well. And all we're going to be doing is soldering and the resistor from the switch to ground, depending on which pickup's going where. So we'll start off with the HS Tele. So like I say, humbucker in the neck, both parts are 500k. Uh, and we'll just quickly put the resistor in. Okay, so exactly the same as a standard Telecaster. So our bridge pickup gets connected to this lug here. It's on the bottom left of the switch if you're looking at it from the bird's eye point of view. And our neck pickup goes to the, the lug opposite on the other side. So that um, top right, but I'll turn it around. So you got it here. So our neck pickup is going here and our bridge pickup is going here. Now, but because the humbucker is in the neck and the single coil is going here, what we need, and that single coil is then gonna be seeing a 500K. All we're doing is soldering in a resistor from that lug there to ground. So when you put your pickup in, it goes through the resistor and therefore only sees 250K. So I'm just gonna be putting in this nice and quickly. We're just gonna snip it and give it a mechanical connection. It's gonna bend the end of the wire a little bit so that it hooks into the, the lug. Just like that and then we're going to solder the other end to ground
There you go, it really is as simple as that. And all you do is you just hook up your pickup as you normally would to the same lug, the single coil. Okay, so now we'll move on to the, the second circuit, which is exactly the same, it's identical. And the same, the exact same principle. So our, our bridge pickup is going here. And our neck pickup is going on the opposite side. But now because we've got the single coil in the neck position, we're doing exactly the same, but the resistor is going from this lug, wherever you put your neck, and that's going down to ground as well. So exactly the same principle. I'm just gonna bend the wire on the resistor around so I can hook it in and make a mechanical connection. Just like that. Uh, by all means, you can use some rubber tubing just to stop the lead from touching any of the switch contacts. Um, I would. As you guys know, I use rubber tubing on pretty much anything. As you can see, I'm even using it here just to stop the, the cloth wire from fraying. But that's only because frayed cloth wire, I think, looks really, really ugly. But obviously it doesn't really matter once it's all hidden under, underneath the control plane. And just solder the other end of the resistor to ground. So you can see I'll put it on the volume pot casing. Just really is as simple as that. And then we are putting the uh, single coil into the neck pickup into that lug there. Okay, so that's that done. Now we'll move on to the to the two strap circuits. Okay, so moving on to the HSH circuit. So that's humbucker in the neck, single coil in the middle position and humbucker in the bridge. Um, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is wired as per a classical Stratocaster wiring diagram. There's nothing fancy in there. Um, the only difference is that these pots are all 500K as opposed to 250. The capacitor is 0 0.022, that's because um, of the two humbuckers obviously um, and the only other difference is which I did cover in a previous video a few months ago this jumper wire here connecting the two lugs here uh, is bridge con uh, bridge pickup tone control wiring which is very important in this instance so the 500k tone control will be for the humbucker on the bridge um, and all we're going to be doing then is exactly the same as with the Telecaster setups um, these are where our pickups would stand uh, normally go to so neck, middle, bridge. There we go, neck, middle, bridge. And we're just going to put the resistor um, into this solder lug here, which is where our single coil or the middle pickup will be going. And by soldering that resistor from there to ground, as we did in the previous, that means that the single coil, when selected, will be seeing um, 250k pot as opposed to 500. So, exactly the same principle. I'm just going to put this in. Try and zoom in a bit more for you. Like so. And exactly the same as we did with the Telecaster, we're just going to put the other end of this to ground nice and simple like I say all the diagrams are on the screen and I'll put a full um, the link to the full wiring diagram for the whole setup uh, in the description below. They're all available on our website. Um, it's just as simple as that really. So that is the HSH. Like I say, we're just putting the resistor in the middle pickup position, soldering that to ground. So when we put in our pickup and when it's selected, it will be seeing 250k 
as opposed to the 500k there. Okay, so now we move on to the final one, the HSS. Okay, so for the HSS, like I say, as per the previous circuit, they're, they're pretty much identical. They are wired as per um, standard Stratcaster wiring. Again, this one does have the, excuse me, the jumper wire to enable bridge tone control wiring, which again, for this circuit is absolutely essential. Um, and the only other differences from this one is the, the first tone pot is actually 250k for the single coils and 500k volume pot and obviously a 500k um, pot for the, the bridge tone control. Um, but yeah, the only difference is this is 250. Um, exactly the same principle, so we know that we're going to be having um, two single coils and a humbucker in the bridge. So it's exactly the same, neck, middle, bridge neck, middle, bridge. So all we're going to be doing is, um, as per the previous, we're going to be uh, connecting the resistors to the neck lug of the switch and the middle lug of the switch. And then your humbucker will go there and everything's nice and rosy. So um, I would recommend on these instances that you do use rubber tubing because you're getting quite close to the switch. And as you can see, I'm actually going underneath that wire. And just another nice little, very simple tip. Tapes your friend. If you haven't, if you're not using helping hands, because um, helping hands aren't really going to help you in this sort of situation anyway. Just keep it and hold it in place. And then we're just going to bend it down. Like so. There you go. So this is for the, the neck single coil. And by soldering this in with the pickup, It means the neck pickup will be seeing 250k volume as opposed to 500k. And we'll do exactly the same for the middle pickup position. Remove the tape now. And just put them both to ground as well as normal. So we'll just solder them into place. There you go, just like that. So by adding these simple resistors in, the neck and the middle pickups of our HSS Strat setup will be reading, excuse me, will be seeing 250K as opposed to 500. The, the first tone control here is 250K, which is for the single coil, so that's nice and perfect. And the, 200, uh, the 500K pot is for the bridge, is the sole tone control for the bridge pickup. So it gives you a nice balance there. The only other thing that I, I suppose would raise a few questions is why I'm using uh, a 0 0.022 that's typically i mean we you can rewire this to have an individual tone control so we could have a 0 0.047 on the middle one and a 0 0.022 
on the second tone but that has been covered in the super strat wiring video we did last year so do check that one out four circuits all very very standard nothing fancy really whatsoever all you're doing is choosing your pot values carefully for the correct function and then you're simply soldering in a 470k resistor to, to trick the pickup into seeing the value that it needs to be seeing so that's it really guys if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to get in touch i know a lot of people have been waiting for this video hsh i promise it's uh, i've started recording i mean the proper one with coil splitting and one or two others uh, it's in progress um obviously due to the lockdown I've, i am waiting on delivery of a few bits notably a, a pit guard and a humbucker um because i don't have suitable available stock um so when, whenever they get delivered I, I can't promise when it will be but that video is in the pipeline so stay tuned for future uh it will be in the next four weeks or so um i did say april but i think it might be mid-may realistically but anyway thanks very much for watching if you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to get in touch and we'll see you real soon in the next video <laughs>